The next one we're going to show you is the their, their, their kill example. And what we're going to do in this one is any, uh, any packets that have the source IP from our victims, which is 192.168.15.4, um, as you can see in the host list, uh, it'll kill that traffic. So basically this will kill all outgoing traffic from the victim. I'm just going to save it and use EtherFilter to compile that, sort, uh, that script again, uh, load it up in EtherCap, and we'll pop on over to our victim computer and you'll be able to see that we cannot connect to anything because all outgoing packets are dropped. See, we can't, even, we can't even ping, we can't do anything. All right, the next filter I'm going to show is pretty much the typical filter that everybody shows when they make an EtherCAT video, so we might as well show it too. It's uh, Iron Geek, um, it, it's his filter to modify pictures, to change them. IronGeek.com is a great source for hacking tutorials uh, just like us, so check them out. Um, but I'm just going to copy the source. Basically what it does is the first part will remove any encoding, uh, basically remove the encoding so it's in clear text, uh, which could prevent some pictures from being changed. And then you can see the second part replaces image source equals to uh, a dim different image source equals and then it'll replace it to one of Iron Geek's pictures and you'll see that in a moment. Basically I'm just going to save this and compile it with the ether filter again and load it with load it into EtherCap and uh, we'll hop over to our victim computer again and uh, let's go to infinitysys.com and you'll see how it works. As you can see, the pictures on the page this uh, were changed. And you could do this with any t picture. You could do this with. Uh, you don't have to do this with images. You could do this with a uh, text. You can do it with anything. Um, all right, we're going to show you one more filter. Um, basically, I, I made this filter to be able to intercept WordPress passwords. Um, our website is based off of WordPress, and if you if you log in and you have a sniffer running like EtherCAP, um, you notice that you're, it's not detecting the WordPress passwords. As you can see, nothing's showing up. Um, so I designed a, a filter to be able to intercept those packets. And I'll just show you how I, how I made this. Um, basically, I'm going to open up Wireshark, which is a, a, a packet sniffer, but it shows you, unlike EtherCAP, it will show you every single packet, um, not just the passwords. And I'll just run it here, and I'll just switch back to the victim's computer once again and log in. And you'll notice on the attacker computer again that a whole bunch of different packs are uh, popping up. This is showing all the traffic. Uh, and we're just going to kind of go through these packets and see if we can find it. Because um, we know that it's not using the secure socket layer, so it must be in clear text somewhere. And if you just look through a few of these, you'll eventually find it. And if you look closely at this packet right here, which it, it's helpful to, to realize that it's coming from the source as a person that's on the LAN, the so 192.168.4, and going to a, a remote destination. Now let's copy the contents of this, this packet, and you'll see that it has the login equal to Apache and the password equal to Infinity. So basically, I'm going to make a filter around this so I'll be e able to easily uh, capture these WordPress passwords. And this is it right here. Basically what it does is check to see if the packet is THCP and if it's um, going to the destination uh, 80, which is the port that uh, w web servers run on. And basically it will search that packet to see if it can find PWD equals, which is 
what we saw in the packet when we were looking at it in Wireshark. Um, it searches for that, and then if it finds that, it'll display a mes message on Ethercat saying that it found a WordPress packet, most likely, and then it'll log that pass that that packet in a, a temporary log, um, as you see right there in the last line. Once again, I will compile this script with Etherfilter and load it into Ethercat. And uh, I just wanted to mention once again that we are still running the man in the middle tag because to use filters you have to have a man in the middle tag running. Right? And we'll just hop back onto the victim's computer and we'll just quickly log in again. As you can see, it popped up a message that a word pa WordPress packet was logged. And if we go to that log file, we'll see that it was indeed logged and we can clearly see uh, my password. Alright, it's right there. And that's pretty much it for uh, filters. You can do so much things with filters. Um, it's basically kind of like a simple C language. It just doesn't have that much stuff you can use. There's only a couple commands. Um, but it's kind of structured the same way with the if statements. And uh, the, the, the syntax is kind of the same.